We're backstage with Demetrius Johnson and everyone around you is coming up to you and saying flawless, perfect. Is that how you feel about that performance? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it was good, man. You know, uh, Wilson Ace is a tough guy. And uh, I really, I really, I was just focused this camp, you know what? Uh, me, and my, me and my teammates and my coaches went back to what I do best and watch my old videos. Something I should do a lot when I was an amateur and I think that's what's made me successful. So grateful, very grateful to be able to share this night with Kansas City and my coaches. And let's just be getting, you know, next time I'm going to go back home, work on it, see what things I did wrong in this fight and, and go out for the next one. Demetrius, I can't even imagine that there's like one thing you've done wrong. And I feel like every time I talk to you after you win, I'm saying the same thing to you. It was perfect. Where can you possibly improve? You know, there's a couple of times where I had his hands up and I, I should have stayed there in the pocket and made him miss and then come over to the top for, uh, with some strikes. You know, I, I was having, I had him covered up and I should have taken advantage of it. But uh, every fight, you got to fight different. So this was perfect. My takedown defense was perfect. Um, and I fixed a lot of things that I wanted to fix for this fight. You know, as the lead up to this fight progressed, he kept saying, oh, there are holes in his game and I found that I'm going to exploit them. Do you think he relied on that too much? Yeah, I think a lot of guys, you know, they look at my past fights and be like, oh, there's holes in his games and scrambles. I'm like, dude, got to realize Tim Elliott has a lot of heart. He's a big 130, 125-er and he's scrambling. He's unpredictable. But if you, you get me out there with anybody, you know, I, I think I'm just in a better place now. I'm, I'm in a lot better place than I was my last fight. Not taking anything away from, you know, the Tim Elliott fight, but I'm in a way better place right now. In, do you say that in a personal sense as well as a athletic sense? Yeah, athletic sense, personal things. You know, I found a lot of things in my life, going through a lot of stuff, you know, all that stuff. So uh, I'm just in happy places. And, you know, like I said, I'm always, uh, my coach say I have a very intellectual uh, curiosity to where I ask questions. I'm like, dude, is this right? Like, are these fights are right? And I'll finish the guy in the first run. He goes, ah, it's all right. So it, it makes me happy. You out grappled the grappler. I'm a, I mean, I'm a white belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, yeah. and I never won a Gi Jiu-Jitsu tournament. So it just shows you, man, it's mixed martial arts. I train with the best, Brad Kurtz and Matt Hume and all the guys at AMC, and I'm always going to get better. Yeah, and you were telling me, you know, Bibiano gets you into these positions that prepare you for a guy like Wilson. And how much, like, were you doing things in the gym that Wilson then tried to attempt inside the octagon? 100% everything, you know what? Bibiano came down and helped me a lot with my grappling, helped me a lot with my takedown defense. You know, me being a wrestler, you know, I I, I, wouldn't even, I didn't even win state championships. I never went to college and wrestle, but I'm out wrestling guys who have, you know, NCAA titles. And for me, it's just working, you know, working with Matt. I'm like, I'm like, how do I fix this? Like, tell me what I'm doing wrong. And then, you know, it's always grateful to be able to spar with your coaches. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure, especially if they're annoying you, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you fight it looks perfect and then you strive for even more perfection and you obtain that so what is next Demetrius we all wonder yeah go back home uh, get healthy spend time it's my son's birthday today uh, get back home take the kids and wife to Disneyland for her 30th birthday and keep on getting better like I, I love doing this sport I love fighting I love just growing as an athlete and um, let's see what happens man I'm, I'm very excited you gonna keep that belt right there I'm gonna try to I'm gonna see I told Danny he owes me eight more he goes I'll see 18 I was like just give me seven figure payday that's all <laughs> Hey, you heard it. I don't blame you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on yet another flawless victory. Always a pleasure to watch you perform, Demetrius. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. that, Megan.